Hello and welcome to the special series Locals 101. Today I'm going to talk about Crotophytus Calaris Bailei, aka the Western Yellowhead. As I'm going to show here on the map, we're going to localize into New Mexico, Arizona. These can also possibly be found in southern Utah and Colorado regions. Mine mainly come from the North Carolina locales. And that's pretty much what you're going to see in these pictures. But again, the Bailey Eye range to where you can see a yellow head with white in the dewlaps that transition to blues in the males. Again, I'm going to zoom in yellow head, but key factor is white. That differentiates them from their close relatives, the oriceps, that can be mainly found in Colorado and Utah. Again, yellow head but white with spotting in their dewlaps. Again, body ranges from a mixture of blues, greens, yellows. I'm going to show you some males here. The differentiations in colors are pretty cool. Get some vibrant blues, even some nice greens and different colors in there. And yellow striping is one of the things I really like. I'm going to go through again, show you multiple pictures here of some of the males, and then as we get over, I'm also going to show you some females, generally more earth-toned, but they can have the yellow heads as well. As you can see, white dewlaps, a lighter blue-green to gray with yellow striping. So you see yellow head, this is a gravid female from last year. And then you can see some subtle blues in the females and more of a gray tone. Here are some pictures of the different pairs that I have. As you can see, I'm going to go through quick showing you just the male and female, different colors you can see, female on top, male on the bottom. Again, another female on top with the male. As you can see, males are always more vibrant than the females, but some of the females can still have a pretty cool color in them. And again, this is one of the locales that I love to work with through the New Mexico locales from this subspecies or old subspecies. As you can see this video, I have a female that's just starting to show some gravid signs. And you can see how calm these guys are. I work with them all the time. She's actually looking for some food. I hand feed them super worms. But you can just see the gorgeous blues as I move around here. The blue is very bright on the sides of these males. And again, you can appreciate the white in their dewlap. The yellow striping is really cool in these guys where the females are more earth toned, basic yellows and light blues. As you can see, another pair here was earlier in the morning. As you can see, the male again has some nice vibrant blues on his side. As I zoom in, it changes with the lighting and moving around, but you can see females again more earth toned, still have the yellow head, and when they blush with that gravid blush, you get this gorgeous red just popping out and actually can intensify their colors. But again, white in the male's dewlaps, a richer, darker blue on the side. As you can see, he's probably getting ready for me to feed him a superworm again. And I'm going to show you one more pair that I have expected to breed this year. As you can see, the male coming up has some deeper blues and greens. The lighting isn't great, but you can really see that rich blue, again, focused on the side. I'm going to move these guys around. This was another shot from the morning to where they love to just lay and absorb the warmth of my hand. So if you haven't checked out the Handling 101 video, you should really check it out because collared lizards, I can walk around the room with these guys because they expect a superworm after this. So they're just going to hang out and wait for that snack. I'm going to walk up to some of the lights to show you some different angles and lighting from these guys just to see if they can bask. You might be able to get some more greens out of them, more blues. But again, if you really bring this guy up close to you, you can really appreciate how rich blue they can be. So I'm going to show you under the light. Again, more of like a greenish blue. The light's kind of not working too well. This is one of my plant light bulbs that I have. I'm going to move it over another one just so you can really appreciate how gorgeous these guys are and really one of my favorite ones to work with. Again, every single line has its unique characteristics. So I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to subscribe.